long ago, the Orcish Horde was corrupted by the Burning Legion and lured to the world of Azeroth. For generations, the Orcs made war upon the human kingdoms of Stormwind and Lordaeron. Though the Horde was ultimately defeated, a visionary young warchief named Thrall rose to lead his people in their darkest hour. Under Thrall's rule, the Orcs freed themselves from the chains of demonic corruption and embraced their shamanistic heritage. After years of wandering, the Orcs founded their own kingdom in the harsh wastelands of Durotar. Based in the warrior city of Orgrimmar, they stand ready to destroy all who would challenge their supremacy. As a proud defender of Durotar, it is your duty to crush your enemies, both seen and unseen. For the nefarious agents of the Burning Legion still wander the land. Finally, you are of age adventurer, of age to battle in the name of the Horde, to conquer for the glory of the War Chief. Yes, you will do nicely. No doubt you wish to find a great dragon or demon and strangle it with your bare hands. But perhaps it would be wise to start on something less dangerous. Report to Garnek. He should be able to assign a task better suited to a young adventurer. You will find Garnek in the den to the west. For the whole. I don't train your kind, adventurer. Find your own trainer before you anger me. Go forth to victory. Hey, Mon, you be needing to head on over to the adventurer trainer. Be seeing ya. Uh Greetings, adventurer. I pity your kind, for the secrets of true magic are beyond you. Be good. May the spirits be with you. Farewell. You be watching yourself, adventurer. Respect our ways, or a curse be on you and yours. Lita. Another one of Kaltunk's recruits, hmm? A sorry state of affairs we find ourselves in, if this is the best the Horde can produce. No matter. By the time we think you're ready to leave the valley, you'll be a proud adventurer of the Horde. The first order of business will be to put a little strength in your backbone. I could send you out to the Barrens to hunt Kodo, but well, in all honesty, you're more useful to us alive than dead. I believe you would find a good match with the mottled boars you'll find to the north of here. For the Horde! I don't train your kind adventurer. For the Horde! Roktar! May your blades never dull. Strength! Speak, friend. Be safe. What? Want to make your demons more powerful? It'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. Strength. Your will is not strong enough to manipulate the forces we control, adventurer. Strength! Speak. 
spirits be with you.
Hmm, not bad, adventurer. <laughs> but don't let it get to your head. You'll fight tougher than boars in your career. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself well, and your next trial will be against a considerably more dangerous opponent. So you'll need some extra protection. Go with blood and thunder. Ah, while you were gone, a parchment came for you, adventurer. Read it when you have time. If I'm not mistaken, it came from the shaman trainer Shikrik. She would have words with you when you're ready. Strength. Powerful warrior and awkward novice alike have fallen to the venomous sting of the scorpid. You will find large numbers of scorpids northwest of here. Bring me eight of their tails as proof of your prowess in battle. The antidote for their sting is actually made from venom extracted from their stingers. We keep large quantities of antidote for scorpid venom on hand to heal young bloods just like you. But I'm sure you won't be needing any of that, will you? For the horde! What can I do for you? You will be the conduit in which our ancestors communicate. You will have the power of the elements at your beck and call. Sundering your enemies will be child's play, healing your allies as easy as breathing. Keep these things in mind as you face new challenges, and come back to me as often as you'd like. I will remain here to teach you new spells and set you on the correct path when you are ready. Strength. I trust the Valley of Trials will teach you much, young adventurer. I was sent to the Valley to guide you, but I have discovered a growing taint here. A group that calls itself the Burning Blade has a coven here in the Valley of Trials. They are skulking in a cave to the northeast, and their vile familiars have spilled from its mouth to cause havoc. As your first task against the Burning Blade, I bid you defeat these familiars, slay many, and if you survive, return to me. It sure gets hot out here in the Valley of Trials. If only I had some cactus apples, I could make my famous cactus apple surprise. Nothing cools you off faster than a piece of that delicious treat. I'll tell you what, adventurer. If you bring me ten cactus apples, I'll make you a few portions of cactus apple surprise to take with you on your adventures. If you're interested, you can find cactus apples growing near the cactus plants around here. Be safe.
I thought I would die out here with none to know of it. While I was hunting the scorpids of the valley, I came across a particularly vicious looking one. Hurling myself at it, I managed to inflict a massive blow to its claw before it closed around my leg. I wasn't ready for its stinger though, and it sliced down and into my chest, cutting into my flesh and letting my blood. Please, you must kill the scorpid for me. My honor must be upheld. I fought it up on the plateau to the south. was not enough to kill him, but looking at the damage I inflicted gives me some small measure of pride. That small measure will be all I have to sustain myself if I die, and in that light, the short list of my life's accomplishments fills me with anger. Seeing the deed you have done for me steals my heart. I cannot fall so easily. I must endure, but it remains that I cannot make the trek back to the den unassisted. Please, adventurer, return to the den and tell Gornik of my situation. Perhaps he can help me. Wonderful adventurer. As promised, here is your cactus apple surprise, plus a little something extra. May your blades never dawn. Blood and thunder. Go forth to victory. Sunk, sunk. There is an important lesson that you must take away from fighting scorpids. The smallest or largest of opponents can still send you to your doom in fierce combat. Any number of things can prove your downfall. 
I have no more to teach you, adventurer. You have done well, and I will watch your progress with interest. Dabu. From your description of the beast, I believe you must be speaking of Sarkoth. It is no wonder that Hanazua was overtaken by it. Aid will be dispatched to him immediately. Trouble yourself no more with Hanazua's plight. However, I must say, I am most impressed to hear that you brought Sarkoth to death. It is a feat to be proud of, adventurer. And that you would fight for a stranger's honor while other tasks occupied your time, your own honor is heightened. Time is now, young adventurer. You've grown strong and your spirit endures like the earth. Following the shaman's path shows you have wisdom before even proving yourself. The element of earth will guide your destiny, becoming part of you if you are ready. But you must stand before the earth itself. If you are ready, then you will see things only shaman know of. Seek out the fell stalkers to the north and take from them two of their hooves. Return to me then, and we shall speak more of your future. Later. Cursed peons. They work hard gathering lumber from the trees of the valley, but they're always taking naps. I need someone to help keep the peons in line. You look like the right person for my task. Here, you take this blackjack and use it on any lazy peons you find sleeping on the job. A good smack will get them right back to work. Return the blackjack when you're done. Lousy slacking peons.
Good, good. Maybe they'll think twice before slacking next time. Thanks for the help. Adventurer, you are a dependable person. Can I count on you for another task? Some time ago I was surveying the cave to the north for minerals, and I left my favorite pick behind. When I later returned to retrieve it, I found the cave was filled with vicious beasts. Will you go into the cave, the burning blade coven, and get my pick? I left it in a chamber with waterfalls. My pick has a spell on it so you can see it in the dark, so you won't have to worry about finding it. Just what's guarding it. Go forth to victory. Oh, my God. 
Great, you got it! Thanks a lot, adventurer. This is my favorite pick. Now if my peons ever finish chopping down these trees, maybe we can find a nice cave to mine. Strength.
Excellent. Your success shows that you are prepared. Of all the elements, Earth represents the foundation of all things. It is your strength, your stamina, and your patience. Earth will protect you, but only if shown the proper respect. Like the other elements, even Earth can be fickle. Earth is the basis for life, and by observing its laws, you will gain greater wisdom. Never forget the secrets Earth shares with you. I shall make a scepter for you now, and by accepting it, you will realize your path. A scepter is a drink created to bind our spirits to the elements. Fused with magic, the potion will allow the strong will to see the elements as no one else can. Your spirit will be connected to the element the scepter was created for, and only a select few shaman know the recipe. The scepter is always drunk in a holy place and never anywhere else, remember that. Seek out Spirit Rock southwest of here. It is found at the end of the hidden path. Drink your sapta there and, well, you shall see. Mokra! of the darker powers within the Burning Blade, your success against them foretells greater deeds ahead. May My divinations see that an item of power hides deep within the Burning Blade Coven, guarded by beasts and black magic. It is called the Burning Blade Medallion. Your next task is to find it and remove it from the coven. But be wary, for the medallion may be possessed by an agent of the Burning Blade. And if so, then the agent's power would be greater than the familiars you have already encountered. Go, adventurer. You will find the coven in a cave, to the north and west. Go for victory.
How you doing, man? Excellent! The totem I will craft for you is more than a symbol of your status among adventurer. It has abilities beyond that. One use of the totem is as a focus for spells. Those spells are tied to the earth, and as you earn greater and greater wisdom, more of the earth's abilities will be made accessible to you. The trainers will know when you are ready for greater knowledge. But for now, take this earth totem and a scroll to teach you your first ability.
can I help you with? Go for the victory. Strength and honor. Well done. Your efforts within the Burning Blade Coven are key in rooting out this cult in the Valley of Trials. But I fear they have further aims in our land. We have not seen the end of them. Your trials against the Burning Blade are finished here in the Valley. But I want you to report your findings. Go to the troll village of Senjin and seek out Master Gadrin. Senjin village is east out of the valley, then right at the fork. Tell Gadrin of the Burning Blade, and that they have reached the Valley of Trials. Discover from him if they have yet reached Senjin. Go, adventurer, and be swift. I fear the evil found in the Burning Blade coven is but the herald of a larger threat. Fight well. Spirits be with you. Burning Blade is not seen here in Senju, but their evil has taken seed off the coast, on the Echo Isles. The Orcs are friends of the Darkspear Trolls. Honorable friends, we want to help the Orcs, but we need help too. Be seeing ya.
What do you need? I like to blow stuff up even more. May your blades never dawn. <laughs> 